Oop. Well, welcome, welcome back. Uh, we're back to Mary, and we're back to walking around. And I'm back to having a cigarette. Anyway, let's see where this path leads. The mole's tip. Don't be shy. Talk to people, because very often talking will get you further. And don't stop talking after just one conversation, but continue to find out more. As you saw, we had to do that before um, to get points with a few people. I think I did enough with uh, Watson, but we'll see. Oh, look here, look here. Water cooler. Oof, just what we needed. Drink water. It's quite refreshing. Oh, I need quite. We need to drink more. We, need, we got points for that. Let's see if we can get more points. Oh, well, we're refreshed. This looks like a nice room. This is the main control room, and this is where Frank Bates controls the safety of the station. Currently, Frank is busy keeping that station safe. You wonder what da the danger is. Talk to Frank. Good morning, Mr. Bates. All is well, I hope. Cut the small talk, Mr. Goodman. Uh, sorry, Goodman. I'm busy. Someone got out the wrong side of the bed. Actually, I think he sleeps on the floor, so I think either side's the wrong side one. Sorry. Oh, bloody hell. Every time I try to do a video these days, the cat's bloody pissing around and jumping around and demanding service. And my cigarette's gone out. Anyway, carry on talking to Frank. What's this button do, Mr. Bates? Crammer Goodman, now. But I was just leaving, I suppose. Uh, yeah, something like that. No, let's keep bugging him. You open your mouth to speak once, but one angry look from Frank Bates is enough to shut you up. Oh uh, well, we got put in our place. Anyway, carry on exploring this uh, place. Um, obviously this is a lab of some sort. This is the lab, though it's not very useful for the mission. It was with the previous one. For this mission it was with the previous one, sorry about that. But, started there. <coughs> and a uh, doctor's office, I guess. You're in the doctor's practice. Wonder what the doctor practices. Ha ha ha. Uh, let's see if it, this is the operating room. Um, hopefully, no one will need operating, unless not me. But obviously, for bone. Uh, see what else there is. Obviously, very empty playing room. Let's see if there's anything. This is one of the hallways. Whew. What a description. If you don't know what a hallway looks like, you do now. Actually, let's see. I have more here fast, I guess. Hello, Mike. Boy, that was sure. That sure was a great breakfast. Can't wait till lunch. Off goes Owen, I think it was. Off to have a mission of his life. Um, no, we'll surely see him later. Hopefully. Ooh. Um, like you said before, tell we should tell Sarah to join us for the paranormal investigation. Oops, wrong room, but oh well. But that's terrible, William. You seem to have interrupted the conversation. Oh, I'm, I'm uh, sorry, I, you stammer. Hey, Mike, how are you? How can I help you? Oh, it's nothing, William. I'll be on my way. Meet me in your apartment later on, Mike. There's something I want to tell you. That's okay, William. Meet you there. In the meantime, make yourself at home, Mike. Look around. Talk to people. I'll do that, William. Bye. So we got thrown out. Um, unlike Colonel's Bequest, you can't kind of, you know, sneak back in. Um eavesdropping people or anything like that. That sounds all so incredible, William. You seem to interrupt the conversation. I'm sorry, I, I, you stammer. Yeah, it's, again, it's the same details, but... There we go. Oh, hello there. Welcome to my quarters, but I must warn you, this plant I'm watering can be quite lethal when it stings you, Ben, Graham, ben Green says. I don't think we went into his room before. Um, oops. Anyway, this is Ben Green's room. Obviously, he's got a fondness for plants. And all things green. Maybe that's why he got his name. Um, we'll take a quick chat to him. Talk to Ben. Good evening, Mr. Green. Wearing the plants? Sure I am, Mike. It's Ben, by the way. Ben, by the way. I thought your name was Ben Green. Ho, ho. Ben decides to ignore your last remark. I wouldn't blame him, to be honest. You're giving that plant a lot of water, aren't you? This plant needs a lot of water, Mike. Its thorns will weaken if I forget to water it. How often do you water it? Every hour, Mike. This plant needs a lot of attention. It's ruined my sex life, however. 
Maybe we can fix it later on, Ben. Maybe we can. Just pretend you didn't hear that. What's your part in this expedition, Ben? I met Willie Mayfield at the science convention. He told me about the station Mary and about its history. I got intrigued. But you're a biochemist. I don't see the connection. Well, I am known for my theories about ghosts, environments, and relation between the two. And I'm, co I'm convinced that these sightings are due to a cold environment around here. That's quite the theory. So, a point for a little bit of information there about Ben and his past and what his involvement is in this. I mean, we didn't really get to talk to him before, before he told us he's going to, um... Zara is in the series nowhere to be found. How mysterious. We'll never see her again. Um, he just told us we're going to go for breakfast. Oh, what do we have here? Foreboding music. Shh, 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 shh. to be some stands or some kind of floor and wall. Look, stands. Get close first. I don't know how close I need to be. I'm standing on the bloody thing. These are oil stands. That's strange. Maxwell Mayfield never found any oil here. And besides, what's it doing indoors? That's a good question, Mike. A good question indeed. So things are starting to pick up already. We found oil. We struck it rich! Forget this. Forget the $10,000. We got oil. We've made it. No, we better, you know, we can't leave yet. The helicopter's so cool. That's, um, Benson, wasn't it? Talk to Benson. Is it a good book, uh, good book, Dr. Benson? Dr. Benson loathes his reading material. Yes, it is, Mr. Goodman. Please, call me Mike, I insist. Okay, I will. My name's Charles. We'll still call you Benson, because it's easier to remember than Charles, and easier to talk. Pleased to meet you, Charles. Enjoying... Oh, shit, McGee. Sorry, I just got ash absolutely everywhere. And my pants are on fire. Um, enjoying your stay so far? What? Well, I can, can say I do. Michael, I wonder if he meant can't say I do. Uh, the creator of this, of this uh, from Finland, I believe, so the English may have some troubles at some points in the game. Um, just forewarning. I mean, my English is bad enough, so imagine what theirs is like. Talk to Benson. Uh, doctor, please, Michael, I'd like to finish reading this chapter first. I'm sorry, Doctor. That's okay, Michael. Uh, we'll keep harassing him. He decided to disturb, <coughs> not to disturb Dr. Benson any further. Killjoy. Um, we'll have to see if we can find anyone else around. No one's there. We haven't been outside yet, so we'll take a quick, uh, look out. Look out? Ooh. Get jacket. We've got to dress up warm for outside. A raving snowstorm prevents you from going out. Oh, we can't go out yet. That ruins our fun. So we'll have to keep looking around before we can go out. Um, we've got a seance to go to later on, which I think takes place in the lab, as you said. Um, there's another part of the lab out there, but um, I haven't shown you because you have to get dressed up for it as well. Like, you have to get dressed up for going outside. And look, there's Sarah and Watson. We'll talk to Sarah. Hello, darling. What are you doing? Hi, Mikey. I came in a little late for... Um, a little late this morning, but Watson here frankly fixed me a nice breakfast anyway. Ah, oh, that's sweet of him. He's moving on, your woman. Get him. Oh, before I forget to tell you, there'll be a seance held tonight, probably in the lab. Ah, oh, thanks for telling me, Mikey. I'll be there. And we get another two points. Hey, Sarah, what is that? Actually, you're eating something sweet? Yes, I am. I'm normally exclude sugar, but Watson made me this milkshake, and it's just great, Sarah smiles. There are only natural sweets in there, Miss Parker, so don't worry about gaining any weight. Or oh, don't fucking comment on your weight, I'll never hear the end of it. Sarah, who says I am, Watson? Whispering Sarah, dear, last night was special. Whispering back, you mean the part where you fell asleep soon as, as soon as you were finished? That sure was special, Mike. Typical guy. Just knocking himself out afterwards. Well, that's... You know, otherwise you have to listen to them talk. Uh, I'll get back to that later. You'd better. How about tonight? Ooh, maybe we can get Lisa there as well. You got yourself a deal, Sarah. Talk to Watson. Get a bit close to Watson. Alright, alright. Fucking condescending game. Hi, Watson. Need some help? No thanks, Mike. I'll manage. Uh, well, come on, come on. We have to get some. Breakfast was excellent, Watson. Honest. Good to hear that, Mike. Good to hear that. 
Mike. Good to hear that, Mike. It's always nice to when you. Uh, it's always nice when your work's appreciated. All is well, Watson. All is well, Mike. Don't worry about me. Watson's kind of one of those characters in the game that never really does anything, but I guess um, you kind of had to add him in, so you know you're getting food. Uh, a lot of games kind of exclude that idea. Oh, you have to eat, do you? Well, shut up. Um, kind of walking around in circles now because we've met everybody, um, but everyone has moved on from breakfast, so see? Who wasn't here before? It's Dr. Lee. <coughs> Oh, Miss Gimmer, I didn't hear you come up. I thought you were sleeping, Dr. Lee. It sure looked that way. And she was meditating. I always meditate at this time of day to purify my thoughts. You like meditating here, Dr. Lee? Sure do, Mr. Goodman. The view's great. Great. I, d I don't think you can really meditate and catch the view at the same time, but what do I know? I'm just some crazy white boy. It sure is, Dr. Lee. And please, call me Mike. Mike it is then. Why did, William, uh, sorry, why did William Mayfield invite you on this expedition, Dr. Lee? My profession is that of a paranormal scientist. I've dedicated many years of my life to the paranormal. What does a paranormal scientist do precisely? I try to explain the paranormal as pure scientific phenomenon. As, uh, apparitions are nothing, better, are nothing more than energy fields left behind by the deceased. That's quite an interesting theory, Dr. Lee. Thank you, Mike. And we get points for learning more yet again. Um, hopefully the sounds have started by now, so we'll, if it has, we'll go check that out. And everything's quiet again. Should be alright. See if the sounds have started. I think it's this door here. No, it hasn't started yet. Um, who else do we have left to talk to? Oh, that's right. Uh, William said he'll meet us at our apartment later on, so... We'll head off and see if William is ready for us. Oh, shh. It's a bit too fast. <coughs> um, yeah. Bloody hell. Wrong room. Sorry, guys. Yes, this is my room. Uh, he's not here. We'll just get some slide eye. Nope, not sleeping. Um. I can't remember what you do exactly at the moment. Well, I can't really find everybody. Um, uh, kind of the, the, one of the main features of this game is just walking back and forth, uh, walking around, trying to figure out what to do next. And we haven't talked to Owen yet, um, well we talked to him at breakfast, but we haven't talked to him since, so we have a chat to him now. Or we might have talked to him, I can't remember. We'll talk to him again anyway. Hello Owen. Um, hey mate, I didn't hear you come in. What are you doing? I'm checking my comment, want to be sure everything's ready, um, everything's in order for tonight's session. Fair enough. Mine is a big telescope you've got there, Owen. Oh, you know what they say about black guys and their telescopes. Well, what can I say? Mike, size does matter, so he got you there. Need any assistance? No thank you, Mike. I'll manage. Um, I think that's all we had left to talk to, so hopefully uh, William is ready for us now. Go to our room, and no. Bloody typical man, keeping you away. Um, yeah... I can't remember precisely what you have to do next, but we're out of time anyway, so sorry this hasn't been a very eventful video, but next week, um, I'm sure it will pick up. Actually, I know it will pick up because I actually remember what you have to do now, and we've done three videos in a row, so I think it's kind of time we stop and leave you for, you know, have a little, little bit of a taste of what the game is. And it does pick up, it moves a lot faster as the game goes on, as you kind of expect. Um, anyway, just want to give you a little bit of a taster, and we'll see you next week. And I promise, unlike... Oops. Shouldn't have shown you that. But um, unlike uh, Simon, it will pick up. Um, I will carry on doing it. It's a lot easier to film than it is with Simon. And um, I can kind of give him a bit more talking dialogue over it, rather than having Simon do all the talking. And I'll kind of add more enthusiasm um, 
as it goes on. At the start, it's obviously very boring. You're kind of just talking to people as finding out about their lives and stuff like that. So it's not the most exciting start, but it's a start. Anyway, see you next week.